we want you to realize that things are not going to manifest necessarily from one moment of not being there to suddenly a moment of being there because you're not going to change your vibrational frequency that quickly but things are going to be adjusting and you are going to begin to notice it so the manifestation that we want you to focus upon is not the car in the garage or the lover in your bed or the money in your bank account not right now not all of a sudden the manifestation we want you to focus upon is closer over here to the vibrational frequency it's the manifestation of a thought occurring to you a thought that you don't usually think you'll be realizing things that you don't usually realize and right along with that realization will be an emotional upcharge an emotional surge that will be the indicator of your changing of your emotional your emotional or vibrational frequency so if for a little while you can let the emotion be what you're going for rather than the full-fledged manifestation oh the emotion is going to lead to more thoughts and more thoughts ideas of rendezvous you'll start getting impulses of where to go and when to go and who to go with all kinds of things will begin occurring to you and these manifestations will blossom into actualized life into manifestations that others around you can see it is our absolute promise to you but if you find the vibration and then you don't maintain it and you find it and you don't maintain it and you find it and you don't maintain it then these manifestations don't come and that's what makes you feel discouraged that's what makes you begin to doubt your ability to create your own reality you let too much of your vibration be about what you're observing instead of about what you are wanting which brings us to the most important part of this evolved discussion we're talking about you creating your own reality but we want you to understand that if you are living conditionally where you are so fixated on the conditions of what is right now the conditions of what is right now will prevent you from ever having the improved version because you can't offer a vibration of what is and a vibration of what is coming at the same time if you're focused upon the absence of something that you want that's the vibration you're practicing and it will keep you from realizing the path because law of attraction is drawing all cooperative components it's already been assembled your vibrational reality contains everything that you want you've just got to get in the zone in the vibe you've just got to get in the vibrational frequency vicinity so that you can begin realizing you know how sometimes when you say oh I just got the best idea that's why that's why you let down your negative guard for some freakish reason you were feeling good <laughs> and in that absence of resistance you got an idea but most of you don't keep the idea alive by nurturing the fertile ground that allows it instead you kill it with reality you say oh but that's not likely I don't know others that have done that it hasn't been working out that way for me you argue for your limitations by pointing out what is and what is is not the friend of what will be often sometimes it is in other words if what is is lovely focus on it as much as you can and more like it will come to you but you want to be a selective sifter about what you focus upon so this now reality is full of conditions and as you focus upon the conditions the condition the condition whatever the condition is I must deal with this condition Esther twisted her knee pulling a very heavy suitcase and it's been bothering her and she finds herself focusing upon the condition of her knee hard not to it hurts hard not to it's slowing her down hard not to focus on it it is a reality that gets her attention but what she is realizing is she can hold the sore knee with her indefinitely by giving her attention to it and so once something is manifested we know it's not easy to get your attention off of it but you got to figure out some way to get your attention off unwanted or unwanted will remain in your experience law of attraction says that it must so conditions some of them you want some of them you don't want but here's something that will serve you so well as you are beginning to understand the vibrational universe that you live in and the vibrational being that you are 
over here is a vibration that we are going to call in as emphatic way as we can because we want you to remember it evermore it is an uncondition it's an uncondition this vibrational reality is an uncondition and as you allow yourself to focus in a way that allows this non-physical vortex and your source energy who is projecting thoughts to you about the path to what you want hear this your inner being knows where you stand in relationship to everything you want doesn't that please you your inner being knows where it is and is calling you to it but you got to be in the vicinity in order to hear the impulses so if you will just for a little while decide that rather than trying to change the condition so that you can feel better instead you will ignore the condition and find some way to feel better which will then cause the condition to change can you hear the difference it is essential to deliberate creation focusing upon an unwanted condition sets a vibration that holds it in place but being unconditional means using your willpower that's the only way we would use willpower to focus on something that feels better there could be 10 subjects in your life that are important to you and let's say nine of them are going extremely well but you could focus on the one thing that isn't going well and as humans that's what you usually do because you're trying to find a problem and wrestle it to the ground and kill it this universe is based upon attraction and inclusion when you say no to something you're actually saying yes to the thing you don't want yes to something you do want brings it no to something you don't want brings it so here is this condition that you don't want and as you focus upon this unwanted condition you hold yourself vibrationally apart from what you want so if you would decide that caring about how you feel matters it matters so much that this condition takes a second or third or fourth or fifth place so let's say there are 10 things in your life experience that are important to you and that one thing isn't going well the other nine going well if you would focus upon the nine things that are going well or even one of the nine things that are going well that tenth thing would have to come into alignment it would have to because vibrationally you've cleaned it up vibrationally you're using the nine things that are going well as your reason for offering your vibration which means you're now getting impulses about everything else you're getting impulses about the thing that isn't going well let's turn it around let's say nine things are terrible and one thing is going really well and as you focus upon those nine things you feel awful but as you focus upon the one thing that's going well you feel better so you focus on it more and more so you're feeling better more and more so now the other nine things are coming into alignment because you're holding yourself in a frequency that allows the solution that you're looking for the vibration of a solution and the vibration of a problem are completely different frequencies so what's the point of all of this Abraham what's the point of all of this contrast that surrounds us well the contrast causes you to identify what you want it's really step one of the important creative process if you don't know what you don't want you can't know what you do want so step one is that discerning and asking process and that's that rocket of desire that goes into this vortex that your inner being stands and holds and summons to you all the cooperative components the question is are you one of the cooperative components and the answer to that is if you feel good yes if you feel not good no you're not being cooperative right now so step one is you ask step two is source stands there with all that you've become and summons by law of attraction to you so the path lights up for you the path of least resistance is very very bright your inner being knows right where all of the steps are not just the most direct steps but the steps that will bring you the most pleasure along the way and hear this more important the most logical step that you will be able to find so when we talk about the path of least resistance we want you to understand you are the one who's throwing the resistance on the path but it's okay your inner being still keeps calling you and the more you get into this place where you are realizing the revelation that is being offered to you 
the more that path of least resistance will clear up until in time there won't be resistance that you're tripping over ease and flow and fun and full and fast and life that's how you're supposed to feel you see so step one is life causes you to ask step two is source gathers it all up holds the frequency of it and calls you to it constantly when you ask it is given that'd make a really good book oh yeah <laughs> but the third step is what we're talking about with you that is you got to find the frequency and you got to practice to find it which means you got to care about how you feel you got to find the frequency that puts you in that place of realizing and then you're off and running there are no limits for you there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have if this time space reality has the wherewithal to inspire within you the desire this time space reality has the wherewithal to deliver the full manifested goods so what we're really talking about is you finding some way to be happy in the interim between the vibrational reality and the fully manifested reality and don't misunderstand us sometimes you do sometimes you think oh yeah Abraham just wants us to get happy so we don't notice the things that aren't working out for us but that cannot be because when you get happy the things that you want cannot be avoided by you they have to come and you will realize them and oh what fun it is to consciously define desire and then deliberately tune your frequency by caring about how you feel and then getting to witness the path unfolding such a fun path after a little while you begin to understand that the journey was what it was all about that the destination is fleeting don't misunderstand we want you to have all that stuff you want we want you to have every bit of stuff that you want we want you to have it you have come into this leading edge place because manifestation is the leading edge way we're not trying to talk you out of your manifestations we're just wanting you to find more joy on your way to them and so often the things you want beat you up because you don't have them and then you feel some sort of discouragement or blame about why you don't very clever must be my mother's fault it's usually what you say I think it's my mother's fault should have been different early on and I would have had a much better go of it we say your emotions are here and now you have control of them here and now stop dredging up that old stuff that doesn't apply anymore all of your power is here and now it's time for you to cash in your vibrational currency